As we sweep up towards the left ventricular outflow tract, we are sweeping superiorly from the four chamber view. And, and this is done to bring in the left ventricular outflow tract. And we can see in the diagram the aortic valve and the aortic root, which lie above the plane of the four chamber view, which is shown in the, by the uh, blue planes below. We need to confirm the correct view by seeing the aorta as it leaves the left ventricle of the heart. We are making a very slight angulation uh, upwards and slightly obliquely to bring in this view. We can see that the tri we have now left the tricuspid valve below the plane of insonation, so we do not see this when we look at the left ventricular outflow tract. And what we would like to see is the left ventricle connecting to the aorta, which heads, as we see here, superiorly and to the right, towards the right shoulder. We can also see that we're now beginning to move above the level of the right atrium and starting to cut the, the superior vena cava in transverse section. We identify the aorta by the fact that it does not bifurcate to supply the pulmonary arteries. Its only branches are towards the head and neck vessels with continuation in towards the aortic arch. Very importantly, there is a line of continuity between the ventricular septum and the anterior wall of the aorta, which is lost in many forms of congenital heart disease, and it's important to confirm this as we scan. As we angle the probe towards the fetal head, the first vessel which we see, and I'll try and alter the insonation angle to make this clearer, the first vessel which we see is the aorta, which leaves the left ventricle and heads towards the right shoulder of the fetus. The aortic valve should be open, seen to open and close here, which is normal, and the septum and anterior wall of the aorta should be one continuous line as it's seen here. I'll just freeze the image to make that point, that this line of the ventricular septum and, and anterior wall of the aorta should be one continuous line so that the aorta is completely committed to the left ventricle.